today we hear Luke's account of Jesus naming the 12 disciples who would be called the 12 apostles, who will be called the 12 apostles. We have a general understanding of the word disciple, a follower, a student, but what is an apostle? In the Christian faith, we think of the 12 apostles as the first ones, the teachers, the leaders, the ones who were right there with Jesus. The word in the Greek is apostolos, meaning the sent ones. They aren't just messengers, they are delegates who carry great authority on behalf of Jesus. Of course, we'll see this so much more clearly in Luke's second book called The Acts of the Apostles. For now, let's hear Luke chapter 6, verses 12 through 16. Now, during those days, he went out to the mountain to pray. And Jesus spent the night in prayer to God, and when day came, he called his disciples and chose twelve of them, whom he also named apostles, apostolos. Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, and James, and John, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon, who was called the Zealot, and Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. Matthew adds that they were given authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to cure every disease and every sickness. Jesus expands the reach of his ministry by naming and empowering these apostles to be about his work. If we had kept reading, we'd see that he's getting ready to send them out with a purpose to say that the kingdom of heaven has come near and that they're supposed to raise, cure the sick and raise the dead, cleanse the lepers and cast out demons. These are fishermen, tax collectors, farmers, and generally not all that well thought of. Jesus has highlighted them as if to say, pay special attention to these. They know what I'm about. I wonder who is paying attention to our apostleship. We certainly aren't the 12 apostles, but there are people who consider you and me delegates from Jesus. We have knowledge and authority and a place of meaning in their lives. What do they see as we practice our apostleship? It's something for us to think about as we go about our day. Here's our prayer for the summer. O God of life and love, today I choose to follow your son Jesus. Inspire me to faithful action, intention, reflection, and deeper awareness by your Holy Spirit which lives within me. Help me to follow Jesus in his steps of grace, goodness, and love, which expects nothing in return. Today, I offer you all that I am and hope to be, trusting you to believe the best about me until it becomes true. Help me to do the same with all those whom I encounter this day. In the name of Jesus, amen.